good morning good morning everybody we are getting ready to leave or we are ready to leave yeah this truck stop up here Wyoming Ontario I think they call it like I said yesterday it's about uh, 35 kilometers before our pickup location so now we're gonna make our way over to our pickup and then uh, pick up the load now we'll probably have to come back here to scale the load to make sure that we are legal to go into the United States because that load is always a little bit on the heavy side I've been there many times before so another gorgeous day out here today nice and sunny but it is starting to cool down overnight already I can feel it like there for a while I was having to keep my air conditioning on overnight even into the evening and yesterday I didn't even have to do that anymore. 400 meters take the entrance to the right on highway 402 west Sarnia Lake Huron Circle yeah, that's where we want to go in 300 meters, take the entrance to the right on Highway 402 West, Sarnia, Lake Huron Circle Tour. Yeah, like I was saying, it's uh, starting to cool off overnight, so that means that uh, summer is getting, uh, getting nearer to the end. Yeah. Well, we already have uh, the 31st of July. Well, it ain't gonna be very long anymore and then summer is gonna be gone tell me guys tell me what you guys have done this year in summer write me a comment on there below on what some of the fun things is are that you guys have done this summer I went camping did some fishing and stuff like that. Continue on this road for 18 kilometers. And in August we plan to go to Vlogger Fair. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. At least I think it's going to be fun. Be a nice little vacation for me and my family. Because the wife and the son is coming along. Yeah, I got the t-shirts made and everything, you know. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Anyways, let's cruise over there and pick up our load and then we'll see what the rest of the day will have in store for us. Well guys, me having to go back to the truck stop means that I have to go past this DOT scale. Now keep in mind, in Ontario or in Canada, they're allowed to hold more weight, so I'm not worried about Canada, I'm worried about the United States. So we have to go in here and we'll see what they got to say. I have to see if we get inspected here or what the deal is today. Yeah, so let's pull her in here and see what they got to say. Looks like there is a lineup in there already, so lower down here a little more 40 kilometers an hour uh, there we go uh, let's see what these guys want from us today open our window ah uh, this is a big scale up here too well, it looks like he's got a customer. Looks like he just pulled one over. Or maybe not, I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright, we'll go in here now. He just opened up this lane here, so we'll go see what he says. Yeah. 
Let's talk to him and see what he's got to say. Give me an arrow saying continue on. He must like me. He must like me. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Good deal. Good deal. waste of time in here so that's good that's the way we like it so we got about three kilometers to get our trucks to our truck stop so let's go scale our load and see what the scale ticket will say well guys here we are crossing into Port Huron Michigan is a big bridge up here that's for sure and there usually is a big line up over here too just across into the United States and that lane says trucks in fast okay now cars need to be on the other lane I guess but yeah this is an absolutely huge bridge Lots of traffic all the time. Every time I come across here, it's lots of traffic. But the water looks Crossing gorgeous. Border, oh, yeah. Michigan. Here we are. Now we are in Michigan, back in the United States of America. But well, we still haven't gone through customs, so we need to go see customs before we can actually continue driving yes sir -y. anyways we'll be right back you all here we go guys now we are officially in Michigan yes sir -y. it is a gorgeous day out here for sure got a little bit of construction going on up here I guess that first car there is a little scared to drive a little bit faster. It says speed is 60 speed limit up here and I don't know why he's got to drive 50. Oh well that's the way some people are. Then we gotta take this exit 69 up here. Well not exit 69 we got to uh, well here they got 45 speed limit. All right. Let's see if we can take this uh, I-69. It's all under construction up here. <laughs> oh yeah! We're having a fantastic day today. Keep to the right on I-69. We want to get to see all kinds of beautiful sceneries today. I think we got to go over a big bridge there further north there on I-75. And we gotta pay for going over that bridge too. That's okay. That's okay. We'll get that money back. Uh, West 69, one quarter mile. Usually I take the exit over there already. Continue on this road for five miles. There you go. No RJ is screaming at me already. <laughs> yep. Let's see if we can exit up here. I think it says that we're supposed to exit up here. Yep, uh, looks like we can exit right up here. There we go. That's what we needed. I have to get onto that 69 westbound. I don't want to go to Detroit. Anyways, let's continue on with our journey. Let's get some miles in. Here we go guys. This is going to be a very, very, very interesting uh, crossing. This is called the McIntosh Bridge. It is supposedly five miles long. And we got to go really, really slow up here. 
that's slower down a little bit more we gotta go a load of trucks 20 miles an hour that's the speed that we are allowed to uh, to cross at over here yeah I know a lot of you guys are probably saying wow this is very interesting eh? and it is it is very interesting yep it's uh, one of the longest bridges according to the record apparently of a hanging bridge or whatever you want to call it it is a super super long bridge that's for sure and I figured who better than to show you this bridge than me <laughs> I've been across this bridge many times I have and it is uh, but it is uh, interesting going across here, that's for sure. I think they said that those posts up there are 168 meters high. And the bridge is 8,038 meters long. Now well, that is a bridge for you. Oh yeah! I'm going to keep the cameras rolling just so you can get the enjoyment of this bridge. Definitely. I don't know if I know what to talk about the whole time, but we will try. A lot of traffic going across here. I've been across here when this lake was completely frozen. And look at the beautiful view that you get right now. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It just, they don't have very high edges over here, you know, if it was really high wind and if it was pushing me against that, that rail there, I would go overboard and help. I wouldn't think very much. It would be very easy to go overboard. Oh yeah. Seems like they're always, almost always working on this bridge too. Looks like they got some construction up there on this bridge now too. Got some boats up there, they're probably fishing or something, that's what it looks like. Wow, that small boat up there is really going like this up and down. <laughs> I'm surprised it's able to be on there on the, on the lake there with the big waves. Looks like fairly big waves up there. Yeah, on the camera it probably doesn't look like it, but it really is. It is scary, almost scary going up here. <laughs> I'm kind of looking at that boat to see where he's going. But see, this is what I was telling you. They almost always have construction up here. This is where the hanging bridge starts. Yeah, they got to make them high so that the boats can go underneath it, you know. Yeah, this is uh, absolutely gorgeous, right? I think so. Oh, look at that little mini Cooper. <laughs> Another one, what the heck? What's going on? Everybody wants to drive a Cooper today? Mini, mini, mini Cooper? Yeah, I talked to Jukebox there earlier and he really uh, encouraged me to uh, record this whole bridge. Apparently he watched uh, this uh, documentary show on this bridge and, and he said it was very beautiful very uh, interesting and uh, he said many people died building this bridge and I don't know I don't know anything about it never looked anything up on, uh, on this bridge so all I know it's big that's all I know they're pretty high off the water now that's for sure I guarantee you this would have taken them a very, very long time to build. Uh, that's for sure. But Jukebox was telling me that there was actually people that, that died building this bridge. And I wouldn't be surprised. Back in the, in the 1900s, early 1900s when they probably built this bridge. I think I looked it up there and it, I think they said it built it in 1954 or something like that. And uh, back then, in those days, they probably didn't have nearly as good equipment as they have nowadays. And, and it probably took years to build this bridge. 
many seasons going through the winter and everything you know I'm surprised how the uh, the ice is not breaking down this bridge you know but I mean just look at the long span from that one pole to the other pole how long of a span it is and it's able to support this whole bridge that's just amazing what uh, these scientists are able to build you know especially back in the day you know anyways that's yeah, just the way it goes we've had a good day worth the driving already oh there's another mini cooper i don't know this town must sell a lot of mini coopers <laughs> i personally don't like them cars but i guess somebody does as I was saying, we've had a good day driving so far. It was fairly windy there earlier, but it's not very windy anymore. Yes, I do. I do know we got to pay for a cross on this bridge. That is a fact. Which I don't mind paying for it because it's a long bridge, a big bridge. It costs probably millions of dollars to build it. They got to pay for it. And mind you, by now this bridge is probably paid for by 10 or 15 times. Maybe even more times, but... That's okay. I guess the state can still collect on it. They still got to maintain it. Oh, yeah. Yep. I think it costs like 23 bucks or something like that to cross this bridge. But it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Sometimes when it gets really windy, they actually will shut this bridge down for commercial vehicles because we are so high that it will actually cause big semi trucks to literally tip over, you know, and that's no good. That's dangerous. But now we're starting to go downhill. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir. -y. That's for sure. No parking. All right. Well, I don't plan on parking here. It'll be a long ways down. <laughs> Even if you want to do some fishing from up here. You would need a long rod to get down there in the water. Anyways, I think that's about it. I think you guys have seen, uh, seen the whole spiel already. So I think we'll cut the radio. Seven minutes already, eh? Seven minutes and 22 seconds. Wow, just amazing. So, we'll go and pay our toll at the uh, bottom of the bridge and then uh, continue on with our journey. Well, guys, just have a look at the beautiful, beautiful beach up here. Yes, this is what we get up, for, uh, up here in the northern part of Michigan. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous beach right down there to the left. Now you can see the waves there a little bit better. I was telling you earlier that there's quite a bit of waves up there on the, on the big lake or whatever you want to call it. I don't think it's an ocean, but it's a big lake. That's for sure. I can't see nothing on the other side. It must be, that's the way the lake probably goes, but it is pretty big. There was actually quite a few people there on the, on the beach there too. Before I started recording, there was a bunch of people parked there on the shoulder there and they all went over there across to the beach well guys our day is over we are in the middle of nowhere pretty much we're uh, in Michigan still but pretty much in the middle of nowhere but we got about 530 miles to go tomorrow till we are home and then we'll be home I know we're sitting here in the back of my truck and the bunk and uh, check out this thing here that is Windows 10 yeah you can definitely tell when you see that uh, Cortana screen right here in the bottom look at that yeah seems to be working pretty good so far for me I like it I like Windows 10 so far haven't had any issues with it but uh, we'll see we'll see I'm liking it so far. I'm happy that it actually goes straight back into your desktop version. It's no longer like a tablet or something like that where at first the page loads up where all the tablets or all the 
whatever or you know it's not on your desktop version or whatever you know but anyways that's enough about that so we are done like i said i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i really hope that you guys enjoyed that uh, beautiful bridge crossing there and i hope i was able to keep you guys entertained and with that we would like to close the show so uh hey if you uh wouldn't mind leave me some comments down there below in the in the box there on what you think about today's video and if you like today's video give it a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel we would appreciate if you subscribe to our channel I would love to have you on board yes sir you will get to see all kinds of different scenery videos and all kinds of good stuff you know but that's about it so have a good one everyone and we will see you on the next one